I can show you how to change the alpha component of a material at runtime, but you'll have to give me a minute to prepare all we need. Let's create a default sphere and a new material to assign to it. The alpha component of the color doesn't do anything in the opaque mode, so change the rendering mode to fade or transparent. That way, if we change the alpha component, now something is happening. Let's create a new script and an empty game object to assign it, otherwise the script won't be executed no matter how hard we try. Inside the script, let's define a material type variable and a float variable to control the alpha component. Define this last one as a range variable in this way, so in the inspector we have a slider to quickly change the alpha. Drag the material from the project folder to the material variable in the inspector. And that's all we need. Consider subscribing before we start. Let's change the material transparency in the update method, so that every frame we are refreshing the values. What we need to do is change the color variable from our material. We can't directly change the alpha component of this color, we need to assign a new color data. This is the same case as for example when you try to modify the X component of the position of an object. You can't do that directly, you need to provide a new vector 3. So to assign the color data we can create a new color, using the red, green and blue components of the color of the material, but use the alpha from our variable. This could be a way to do it. Let's run this to check that it's working. Another thing you can do is define a color variable in start make it equal to the color of the material and then in update modify only the alpha component of that color variable and then assign it to the color of the material. The result will be exactly the same. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video.